Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Job Help Hotline. This is the hotline to help you get connected with jobs in the Chicago metropolitan area. My name is Rick Goodell. I'm with Illinois Manufacturing Foundation. Illinois Manufacturing Foundation is a private, not-for-profit vocational technical school located at 2101 South Kenzie Avenue in Chicago. And we offer two training and placement programs for those of you that are unemployed or underemployed and want to get skills. Let me give you a little background. A little background is the, as follows. Today's economy needs people that have technical skills. The only way to get jobs with family supporting wages is to have the technical skills that are in demand in this economy. So if you're one of those who are wondering about how do I get a job, a real job with real skills, with family supporting wages, we offer you one opportunity to do that. We offer training and placement in two distinct areas. One is in manufacturing, the precision machining area. The other is in the information technology area. And let's just review whether or not there's any work available for people who have skills for precision machining or skills in information technology. First, the information technology field. There are, on any given month, more than 700 job openings for people with a certification and some hands-on experience. Then the certification is the CompTIA a certification. CompTIA is the Computer Industries, Computer Industries Technologies Association. Computer Technologies Industries Association. They're based in Oak Brook, Illinois, and they offer certifications in literally dozens of information technology fields. The a certification is the beginning ground level certification for getting into the information technology field. What does it produce for you? It produces a job. And the job with that a certification generally starts between 15 and 20 bucks an hour. If you've got the kinds of hand-on experience that our training class provides, you're likely to get closer to the 20 bucks an hour. If you go to a place that has no hands-on training experience, you'll probably be at the lower end or even lower than the lower end of the starting salary. So everybody knows that information technology is changing radically the way we think, the way we play, the way we work, the way we interact, the way we communicate, the way we make things, the way we live. So if you're currently unemployed and thinking that, eh, I need to get a ground level certification for the information technology field, which is zooming all across the world, which is increasing all across the world, then you may want to think about coming into our training and placement program for information technology. We have the base, and the base is going to get you engaged in working with all kinds of computers, peripherals, peripherals laptops, desktops, tablets, phones, playstations, and game, game consoles. All of those are based on the information technology field, and all of them operate in very, very much the same manner. We will provide you with the skills for understanding the hardware, the software, the operating systems, and all the peripherals that get attached to computers. The CompTIA a certification is for you the start of an information technology career, one which you can add to each year as you work in the industry 
add another certification, get bumped up in dollars and responsibility. Next year, add another certification, get bumped up in dollars and responsibility. Today, some of the top level certifications can pay between eighty and $125,000 a year. So think about that as you cogitate about a career. If you're not interested in a career, we can't help you. If you just want to get a job and make low level wages, that's not us. If you're interested in a career with real skills for real jobs, then we're the place you want to come to. Illinois Manufacturing Foundation, 2101 South Kedzie in Chicago. We're just a few steps away from the Kedzie station on the pink line. So, if those of you are out there that are not thinking about work and how to get skilled work, well, this our programs are basically for folks that want to get skilled technical careers and get going on a real career with real wages. <coughs> So I mentioned a little bit about one of our training programs in the information technology field. Let me cover the other one, which is to help you get training in the precision machining area. I mentioned there are 700 plus jobs in the information technology field listed for the Chicago metropolitan area every single month. And if you take a look at the precision machining arena, you'll find that there are jobs listed all over the landscape. The jobs listed include anybody who learns how to make these precision parts, steel, brass, aluminum, titanium, magnesium, you name it, sometimes plastics, nylon, Delrin, Celcon. If you know how to fabricate these piece parts and make good parts, because they go in all kinds of appliances, whether they're appliances, automobiles, trains, planes, ships, cars, you name it. Everybody needs precision parts for any manufactured product. And if you've got the skill for that, today the average wage for a machinist in the Chicago metropolitan area is about 23, 24 bucks an hour. You won't start at 23, 24 bucks an hour, but our graduates uh, work their way up to that in two, three years and begin to make money to buy houses, to buy cars, to feed their families, to take care of business. So precision machining is another career that's available to you through training and placement programs at the Illinois Manufacturing Foundation. We're located 2101 South Kedzie, Right, near, right on the southeast corner of Kedzie and 21st Street. We're in a two-story red brick building. We're on the second floor. Walk by, come by, come on in. We have an orientation every Tuesday morning at 9.30 a.m. If you or somebody you know needs to get hooked up with a real career, with real skills and real jobs, come on in. We won't promise you the world. But we will promise you if you complete training, keep your attendance up, <coughs> there's a job out there waiting for you somewhere in the landscape. Information technology jobs are all over the landscape. Precision machining jobs are all over the landscape. The majority of them are outside the city now. So the machining jobs that were in the city 60 and 70 years ago move from the first ring of suburbs to the second ring of suburbs and some of them are now in the third ring of suburbs. As you go from Chicago to Milwaukee you'll find dozens of precision machining firms littering the sides of the roadways connected to the expressways going north and south. You'll find firms in Elk Grove Village, you'll find firms in Des Plaines, in Westmont, in Westchester, in West Chicago in Schiller Park, in Bensonville, in Melrose Park. All these companies came out of the city of Chicago 60, 70, 50, 40 years ago, moved out to the suburbs to get more space, more operating room, and have run those companies and are continuing to run them. <coughs> Some of them that moved so far out are having trouble finding people to come to work. 
even with very high salaries. Sometimes you just can't get to work if it's so far out that you got to spend 60 minutes or 75 minutes to get to a job. Key ingredient for the jobs both in information technology and in precision machining is you've got to be drug free. In the precision machining area, if you're not drug free, it's going to be a problem. Now, if for individuals who are thinking if you've got a felony criminal conviction, that's not a terrible one, many companies will hire you. I'll give you a couple stories to share that with you. One of our candidates, a young man by the name of Dominic came to us after spending five separate cycles in our state's prison system. He was young, kind of foolish, liked the money that he could make selling drugs, but it wound him up with a total of 16 years in jail. I guess after his fifth bit, he decided this was not quite the career for him. He could just see the rest of his life stretched out in and out, in and out, in and out. Didn't like that, but unfortunately with five convictions the only job he could get was in a car wash. And he worked in a car wash where the owner took half the tips that the customers left in the tip box. He said that's not for him. So he thought about it, thought about it, and saw one of our little flyers out in the landscape and came in he went through the Workforce Investment and Opportunity Workforce Innovations and Opportunities Act Workforce Center, got a voucher to pay for training, didn't cost him anything, came through our training program, wound up with a job, started at somewhere about 17 bucks an hour. He's been at it now over four years, maybe five years. He's somewhere 23, 24 bucks an hour. It's a little bit better than what he was doing in the card wash. In fact, he can put bread and butter on the table, peanut butter if he wants it, can afford an apartment, can afford a little bit of uh, weekend uh, entertainment, and carry on with his life without fear of being arrested every time he steps out in the street. Now that's an unusual case. That's somebody with convictions. You should know that we have a, we also operate a program that you don't want to get into unless you've already got a conviction. <clears throat> we operate a training program at the Sheridan Correctional Center and we train machinists there. And for those that have completed our training program at Sheridan, it's somewhat longer, 11 months, and get paroled, we've been able to put more than 80% of those parolees to work in training related jobs. And you know what? With those jobs and the skills they've acquired, they don't need to go back to jail. They don't need to resort back to street life to support themselves and their families. They're now able to make it on their own and make it successfully. So that's in the precision machining area. If you have a felony conviction, you, we welcome you to the training program to become a machinist and a CNC machinist. Our program has four components. The first component is precision measurement, blueprint reading, and math. So you got three pieces as part of component one. The second component is manual machining. You're going to learn to make piece parts just like these manually using an engine lathe, using a, using a milling machine, using a uh, grinder, those will be parts that you'll learn to make. The third step then is to learn to make piece parts on an automatic machine. So you're going to set up the machine, learn the sequence of operations, learn the set of tools that operate, that make each, each operation possible. And then the fourth step is to learn how to make parts on a computer controlled machine. Once you've learned what the sequence of operations is, and what the tools are appropriate for each step in the sequence, you're good to go. You've got the idea. Telling the computer how to do it is, becomes an easy problem. So we train machinists. We don't train button pushers. Now, for the information technology field, that has a whole stretch 
of training. That's basically 376 clock hours. Most of those clock hours are hands-on getting you experience with troubleshooting, repairing, diagnosing, or I should say diagnosing, troubleshooting, and repairing computers, software, peripherals, laptops, desktops, even telephones that are now modern computers in a small form. So, I invite any of you who are considering how to get out of being unemployed, give us a call. Our number is 773-277-2343. And if you're interested, we have an orientation every Tuesday morning at 9.30 a.m. for those that are interested. So call in. Find out about the careers. Both careers require you to be attentive to detail. You've got to pay attention to detail, otherwise you get lost. You've got to have a good attendance record, so your attendance becomes very important after Lee. An employer is not likely to hire somebody who's only been in class half the days the class was in session. We want to get people up to 95% or better of attendance because that will persuade an employer that you're serious about training. So if you're thinking about how to get access to a career, real skills with real jobs, give us a call. Call us on the jobs hotline, 312-738. 1060 or give us a call at 773-277-2343. <coughs> Again, it's your way out of unemployment. It's your way out of underemployment. Many folks are underemployed. They're working in relatively menial jobs that don't pay much. Maybe working a day labor. If you're working a day labor, we've got a story for you. Within four months in machining and six months in information technology, we can get you out of the day labor racket, earning real money with family supporting wages like you've not seen before in the day labor business. So consider, consider if you will, your own future, what you'd like to realize for yourself, for your family, and consider the self-respect that you gain by having a real job with real skills that companies value all across the landscape. That's a tremendous boost for anybody and everybody. If you're currently unemployed and feeling kind of down in the dumps, come on in. We're a pretty friendly environment. We help a lot of people over the last 35 years that we've been in operation. We've put close to 4,000 Chicago area residents to work and training and technically skilled jobs that are training related. So become part of our success story. We want your success to be one of our successes. And we don't succeed unless you succeed. So if you're unemployed or underemployed, give us a call. Come in for orientation on a Tuesday morning, 2101 South Kedzie. Mark down the address and the phone number. Mark down our name, Illinois Manufacturing Foundation and figure out which of the two programs is most meaningful to you. I can give you a quick breakdown, maybe. If you are kind of introverted and like to be work on your own, you know, you don't need to be in the midst of a lot of people, you're not good with the gift of gab, then machining is probably for you. In machining, it's going to be you, the tools, the materials, and the machine. Those are the four components that are required in a precision machining job. You, the tools, the materials, and the machine. <coughs> learning how to work those, learning how to get to be expert at that, produces money, produces respect. The parts you produce reflect the pride that you have in what you produce. However, if you're the person that's got the gift of gab, like to talk, like to interact with people, then computer support specialist may be the program for you. In that program, you've got to learn to extract from people what the problem was before their computer went bad, how to solve that problem. You're going to think through with them, find out what the customer was doing when the computer went bad on them, and attempt to solve that problem with them, or sometimes you have to take the machine away and do your own guesswork as to why it went bad, how it went bad, and what you need to do to fix it. 
So, if you're kind of shy and introverted, precision machining. If you're kind of gregarious and have the gift of gab and are extroverted, think about computer support specialist. That's not a hard and fast rule. Individuals who are either introverted or extroverted can fit in either one. But if your preference is for being on your own, working on your own, succeeding on your own, then machining may be better for you. Computer support, you're going to be in a lot more interaction with people. So those are the kind of two basic ideas. Again, we have an orientation every Tuesday morning at 9.30 a.m. Come and be a success story. Make of your life a success story that you can be proud of, that you, your family can be proud of, that your children, your significant other, your spouse, whoever, can be proud of your achieving real skills for real jobs with family supporting wages. So I invite you, call us, come in, visit. It's your future. I can't emphasize more that, that this gives you a chance to take charge of your own future. It's much better to be able to sit down with an employer and decide how much money you want to take, how much money you want to make. And your skills will be what determines that. So do come in, do call us, 773-277-2340. We're located right near the Kedzie Station on the CTA Pink Line, easy access by public transportation. What's holding you up from getting a real career with real skills and real jobs and family supporting wages? That's the key. If that's not what you're interested in, we can't help you. But if you are interested in a real career with real skills and real jobs and family supporting wages, then Illinois Manufacturing Foundation is the spot for you. Do check us out. Check us out on the web. Check us out uh, through by doing a web search for Google. Look for machinist training or information technology training, computer support specialist training in Chicago. We are the preeminent entity for hands-on practical training. We don't teach you just by theory or by book learning or by video watching or studying the computer. We teach you you actually learn to do the work hands-on. Some of the work I showed you, some of the work you will see in future presentations, but it's your choice. You need to make a decision about what you want your future to look like, what you want a career. If you want a career, we are the place to go and to check us out if you can. Very good, folks. Again, my name is Rick Goodell, Illinois Manufacturing Foundation, located near 21st and Kedzie. And we invite all of those of you who are unemployed or underemployed, come in, check us out. Make a life-changing decision by coming forward, checking it out, seeing if we've got a career that can work for you, and make yourself proud of yourself and the world around you.